Hi guys, welcome to my channel Flaming Yakuma and uh, today uh, we'll be playing uh, Planet Zoo. Uh, so if you guys haven't watched part 1 of this series, uh, please do uh, watch it because uh, basically I'll be expanding my zoo with a tiger enclosure this time. Uh, last time uh, most of you guys uh, wanted me to do a tiger enclosure and to show how I build my zoos. Uh, so I'll be doing just that. Uh, so just to give a brief background about uh, my zoo, it's uh, I'm kind of building the ultimate uh, Sri Lankan zoo, like a zoo concept which I uh, really wanted to build uh, from some time back. Uh, as you can see, my zoo it's uh, still small, but also uh, the enclosures are pretty big. So I don't like uh, to keep animals in uh, tiny enclosures, and uh, I kind of like to give them a lot of space uh, and all that. So. As you can see last time I think we covered the elephant uh, uh, enclosure and this time I'm, I have picked this area uh, to build the tiger enclosure so uh, we will have to kind of uh, expand in this uh, area so like people can visit multiple enclosures and have the view at the same time. Uh, so I'm quickly going to skip uh, the night time because night time is not ideal for building. I have a lot of tons of issues in my zoo which I also had to fix uh, because I have some overcrowding. The water is getting polluted which I will fix uh, quickly fix it otherwise like in case we have any issues. So I'm going to quickly start building the pathway uh, for my enclosure. Uh, this is so that I kind of build right between the uh, pathway for the zoo so I'm gonna start from here right and I'm gonna put a small curve kind of uh, pathway so uh, it doesn't look very symmetrical and uh, right from here I'll be building the staff pathway so it's kind of important that you build your staff ways out of the main path uh, so your visitors don't see uh, the behind the scenes where the staff kind of uh, looks uh, it might uh, the doors and all that will kind of give you less prestige so uh, it's better to avoid that uh, so i'm gonna start building the uh, enclosure uh, barrier so uh, for this i'll be using uh, this wall uh, the normal concrete wall and uh, just keep in mind you guys don't have to uh, kind of build everything right in symmetry and perfectly i mean the beauty of uh, planet a zoo is like you build the zoo the way you want so so I'm kind of not uh, building uh, right uh, my whole barrier right near the path I'm keeping some spaces so uh, we can kind of give a different look and feel uh, to those areas so right now I'm building the path uh, gate so people can't uh, see it and also I'm gonna decide to build the uh, uh, smaller pathway so we can kind of view the habitat area where the tigers would sleep so yeah we are done right with that and that areas the empty areas we can kind of leave it so uh, we can have some plants or something like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start uh, sinking in the uh, habitat for the tiger so uh, kind of give the terrain some shape uh, so it doesn't look flat uh, definitely I think you guys should play around with this uh, to find the best uh, terrain for your zoo so I'm kind of uh, uh, digging right next to the wall so uh, to have kind of like a effect where the lion, uh, tigers cannot escape with that I'm gonna keep some mountainous areas uh, and uh, some areas for water and I'm gonna kind of have a little lake over there and I'm kind of gonna build this with three lakes so uh, tigers don't have to walk from one corner of the enclosure to the other corner like I mentioned it's a huge space I mean uh, I love giving my animals a lot of space so I mean it's, uh, even if it's a game I don't feel like <laughs> putting them into smaller enclosures so I'm going to quickly smooth the uh, terrain over here so the tigers can have access to uh, clean drinking water so I'm going to quickly put, uh, bring my uh, tigers into the enclosure so I can look at their stats and uh, identify if we need to plant more grass or 
uh, it will also assist us when we are making the trees also. So I'm gonna quickly filter the rocks and when you are building uh, a rocky area near your uh, water areas where the tigers can access uh, drinking water you kind of you can build a rock wall so you would kind of experiment with uh, different types of rocks and uh, uh, so you kind of have build like one section of it then you can group those rocks and then copy paste it uh, uh, to give kind of a variation uh, to your water area so this is like a little uh, cliff area kind of thing for the so this is kind of like a, a little rocky area for uh, the watering hole so uh, because anyway the tigers won't be accessing it around and they will have kind of one entrance for it so i'm going to quickly uh, paint the terrain uh, with a, like a jungle look i kind of put uh, soil into the water areas as you can see the red area there cannot be any red areas you need to have it all green so uh, i kind of give more variation by adding more soil so everything doesn't look just uh, green so there's kind of uh, a better look and look for the uh, terrain like uh, how we have done it in the past so i'm gonna also be building a little rocky area uh, over here uh, just to showcase like just to show uh, uh, just to have a different uh, look in the park otherwise everything looks like it's just uh, terrain so better to have rocky areas in your enclosures also so again uh, mix it uh, mix the rocky areas with different kinds of stones it doesn't have to be just uh, one type of stone so I'm be quickly placing uh, these uh, stones and then uh, just scatter them around uh, your enclosure as well So now we can have different kinds of plants in our in habitat so uh, we can start filling it in. So in case if you place any wrong plants it will indicate that you're using wrong plants uh, on the right side so you can select the best habitat. So I'm going to quickly fill the areas uh, also where we don't have uh, it which is out of the enclosure as well so we kind of give a better look to the park. Uh, I'm going to be placing a couple of big trees and also uh long grass so like uh, our tigers uh, we, to match the habitat also a few water lilies just to uh, give some look uh, and feel to the water also i'm also going to be covering the little gate uh, i don't want uh, the gate to be visible uh, by uh, my park guests so ideally you should be covering your uh, park gates as well always uh, as a rule of thumb what I do is I kind of place uh, long grass near water and also uh, mangroves uh, so it depends it depends on the habitat but uh, if they are kind of Asian based I kind of tend to do that to give a better look to my uh, habitats also uh, when I kind of put the plants uh, and trees I kind of have like a little bush underneath the uh, tree itself so again once again just to have a better uh, look for my uh, zoo so these tigers uh, for the tiger enclosure you can have many trees much as possible like uh, on the right side it's about 20% right now uh, that we have filled uh, from the entire enclosure uh, but uh, definitely you can uh, plant a lot of trees so uh, you can go wild with it <laughs> also uh, for the tiger enclosure we need to uh, have enrichment uh, mechanisms also but uh, we'll get into that later so uh, I'll quickly finish uh, this part of my park because uh, I wanted to have an underground kind of uh, habitat uh, where my uh, tigers would be sleeping so I'm gonna quickly remove the terrain in this area uh, you can uh, again experiment with the different terrain tools that's available so uh, I start off by removing uh, the terrain uh, kind of make making a hole in the terrain itself right near that uh, the little mountain and once I make this uh, area like this you can basically flatten it out 
and I always remember uh, just smooth your uh, terrain as well so your animals can access uh, those areas. So right now I'm going to be uh, smoothing the terrain a bit more so the tigers can access uh, the area. And also uh, tigers can actually have uh, different kinds of climbing uh, uh, climbing areas so I'm going to be placing a little bridge over here so our tigers can uh, cross uh, from uh, that corner to this corner without having to go uh, underground. And along with that I am building the hard shelters uh, for our tigers so they can uh, we can place some bedding over there. Uh, and they can kind of sleep in the nights. All right, so I'm going to be putting some climbable uh, materials uh, for my tigers, so they can kind of climb uh, in and out of uh, uh, this area, like whenever they feel like it. So I'll put one more pole over there, uh, and uh, I think that should be good to go. Uh, also. Uh, I want to place a climbable area uh, over here mm, so my tigers I wanted to make it look much natural as possible so uh, while giving like a modern look as well so I'm gonna place uh, this climbable area over there and then over here once you start placing the bedding sometimes the top of it uh, top of the terrain kinds of disappears so you can flatten those areas with the flattening tool and it would uh, kind of rebuild the terrain. Uh, also to make it look more natural I'll be adding a few more rocks uh, definitely uh, to give that uh, jungle uh, mountainous vibe in this uh, area. So again once again you can definitely uh, play around with different kinds of uh, rock formations uh, so it doesn't kind of look repetitive. Uh, so while keeping this area a bit uh, rocky as well, uh, we will definitely have to get uh, more plants uh, because right now it doesn't look uh, so good with just the rocks. So you don't need to fill the whole area with rocks but uh, because the plants will be coming in and uh, you can I think definitely try with uh, different kinds of trees. So uh, I also wanted to uh, build this area with uh, a good visibility for our guests uh, from the left side. Uh, so I didn't want to cover it uh, much as possible but also uh, I kept it more natural with a few bushes and a uh, few uh, like uh, low level plants. Alright so I'm going to be placing a couple of more plants uh, near my enclosure so uh, the area where the tigers are I have put some bedding for the tigers I'm going to uh, put more plants so uh, to make it look a little bit like a forest area and also uh, for the undergrowth for uh, the trees I, I'm kind of like building a little uh, bushy area so I can copy paste this across my uh, habitat uh, I'm gonna place a few more uh, plants and a few more ferns and I'm gonna quickly group it and then this group can be placed across uh, the whole the, the whole park so you can kind of adjust it uh, the way you like and uh, you can place it basically anywhere so once uh, that is placed I can uh, kind of place my trees uh, right on top of those uh, bushes uh, so it kind of has a more natural uh, vibe rather than just placing the tree uh, on its own. So while I'm also making the enclosure, I try to make beautify uh, the outside of uh, the enclosure as well. So uh, you can experiment with different uh, mechanisms like you can have bushes underneath. Uh, certain plants you can sink in the trees uh, and try various things like for example now I'm placing coconut uh, trees over here to give that uh, Indian and Bengal kind of uh, you know vibe uh, to my habitat right now I'm gonna create a small climbing area for my tigers uh, manually uh, so I'm gonna be placing these wooden uh, platforms for my 
uh, tigers so they can uh, climb this area whenever they like. And just to make the area look much better, uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, placing more uh, rocks uh, in this area so uh, it has a more natural uh, look to it rather than just having the plants itself. Uh, apart from that, I will put a few uh, bushes and a few small plants in that area. Uh, also, I am covering this area up uh, so people don't see uh, the behind the scenes uh, where our keepers come and bring the tigers and the food and all that. Also, uh, uh, right now what I am going to do is I am going to start placing glass uh, like a viewing gallery. Uh, across my park uh, so where there's less trees I tend to put more uh, glass areas so uh, our guests can view our park so with that done uh, I'm going to be placing a few educational sign uh, signs uh, uh, for my park and I'm going to quickly uh, select the suitable uh, texture and place uh, the signage across uh, my park just like that and for this in order for this to work I'm going to need some uh, power in my park so I'm going to place like a pre-built power electricity and water treatment center uh, which I've done in the past uh, so as you can see uh, like once we go into the overlays we can see where we exactly need to have those uh, areas overlapping our water and uh, our electricity so I kind of remove certain places and uh, redo uh, it so we kind of cover more uh, the overlays are kind of overlapping our water and uh, signages there is a, s a small space like a blackout zone where we don't have any electricity uh, I think I'll build on that <laughs> later episode because uh, uh, definitely it takes quite a bit of uh, time uh, for this. Also I'm going to be placing a few uh, collection uh, bins uh, so uh, our visitors can make uh, donations to my uh, uh, park and we can kind of benefit from uh, donations for the tiger enclosures. Uh, also, I'm, I have placed few educational boards across my around my uh, uh, habitat because uh, I want people uh, the education level of the park to increase as well. So uh, definitely, I need to have some sound later on. But let's uh, see. Uh, along with that, I'm just placing uh, some security uh, cameras also because some of my signages were uh, vandalized and. Let's place a few benches also for our guests so they don't kind of get uh, tired. Uh, so I think main, the main part of my uh, park is uh, done. So I'm uh, going to pick, quickly select uh, the uh, enrichment uh, facilities for my tigers and uh, give them things to play around with, uh, place the food sources uh, so they kind of uh, uh, they don't uh, attack each other and get bored <laughs> by stay so all right so with that i think uh, we are done with our tiger habitat uh, for this episode uh, i hope you guys like this episode and uh, you kind of uh, had some uh, got some pointers on building uh, your own tiger enclosure so uh, just to showcase like all the special areas that we built, uh, our tigers are enjoying the zoo so far so uh, definitely an interesting build. Uh, I'm hoping to expand the park uh, more and uh, do definitely let me know uh, what you guys think about this episode. Also if you uh, let me know what you guys want to see next on my channel. So. Uh, Planet Zoo, uh, I'll be continuing it as a series uh, I haven't decided which animal is going to be next but if you uh, have any uh, interesting ideas uh, do let me know in the comment section and I will uh, uh, do an episode on that uh, so uh, do consider subscribing guys uh, I love making this content for you uh, 
like you guys uh, i think i have about 140 uh, eight subscribers right now and i'm doing this all for you guys uh, you guys are the best and uh, so stay tuned uh, and i'll catch you in the next episode until then stay safe guys so see you tada ciao